Hey everyone, welcome to Capturing Views. Well, today's topic is going to be super interesting. First reason because it has been requested and asked by most of you on Instagram and you had so many questions to ask. So I thought, why don't I make a video on the same? So here I am in my comfy clothes and talking about the story that I have lived. It is a long story and I'm sure you are going to have fun and as well, it is going to make you also learn certain stuff and also navigate over your decision why if you are thinking to maybe study abroad or maybe you are thinking to choose Netherlands as a country so let's begin why I chose Netherlands and how did I end up at Erasmus University all right so before we begin today's video I just want to introduce myself and give a background about my education qualification and where I belong from everything together so there you go hi my name is Urja and I belong from Ahmedabad India and currently I am over here in Rotterdam city of Netherlands studying at Erasmus University for my pre masters course in tourism culture and society and later on Hopefully, I will also do my master's in the same part of tourism, culture and society. I graduated with BCom Bico, and I graduated with the degree of Bachelor's of Commerce and right now I am here making my life. Anyway, this was the introductory part. Now let's finally move towards the story that I want to share with you guys. Now. Before anything we start ahead with, tell me one thing, did you know that Netherlands actually rank in the top 10 countries providing best quality education? Okay, I also didn't know this thing beforehand. Now coming a bit back from that part too, I wanted to choose something for my master's degree either in India or outside India. To a conclusion, I came that I want to leave the international student life because this is one thing that you can leave at this age specifically. Of course, practically thinking that is the scenario for me at least. So I chose for that thing. Second thing what came across was the fact that I wanted to of course study at some good university. If I'm going abroad for my studies, then I wanted to choose the best of all. So yeah, I started choosing uh, some universities in specifically the field of media and communication or tourism and uh, travel so travel and tourism industry as well as media industry now while i was searching for it i uh, came across this university called university of amsterdam which is in netherlands which also ranks at number one in the part of uh, digitalization, digital culture, communication, media and communication all together. The course specifically was with the name New Media and Digital Culture. I still remember it. So I contemplated the whole decision of either studying over there or not, specifically Amsterdam. Come on. It was a very uh, tough thing for me to convince my parents to, but uh, somehow I took a long time, literally two whole years almost two whole years went by to just take the decision whether I really want to go abroad and if I want to go abroad then do I really want to go and study at this university and even apply for it so finally I applied yes and then I waited for the reply and I got rejected the university for which I had dreamt since almost two years now they rejected me to a point when I got to know about the result and the reason actually that why did they reject me because my background of education that I was coming from that was BCom, Bachelors of Commerce that is all about business, commerce and all right and then I was applying over here for my media, humanities kind of studies so it was not a match at all I didn't have a in between common thing so unfortunately I couldn't get there anyway now in the whole search of getting and dreaming about getting the admission in university of amsterdam i was so much in love with this country i started searching for random videos on youtube and was aware of all the things that was happening either in amsterdam or in netherlands in general so i almost knew all the things and i was kind of connected with this country by that time so now comes the topic of how did I end up at Erasmus? 
Erasmus University. So while I was searching for different universities after being rejected at University of Amsterdam, and then I had gradually started getting attached to the country Netherlands. Although I decided to choose for something and open up my border of choosing something apart from Netherlands too. So I started searching in another countries for specifically in the field of tourism, uh, travel and tourism, culture, everything together. And then somehow I ended up into this course in Erasmus University, which is by the name of Tourism, Culture and Society. And it was such an interesting uh, course in general. I just went through the whole curriculum and I really felt like this is what I really want to do. And that too, I was getting the opportunity to study from a great university, highly ranked one, and that too in Netherlands. So that is how I chose Erasmus University. Now that I had chosen Erasmus University doesn't mean that I was anyway going to get the admission there. So now comes the part where I applied for masters but then in the reply from university they offered me the course of pre-masters again to uh, create that whole simplicity between the background of studies that I have and like a bridge. Uh, for the uh, background of studies that I had in the commerce field and now uh, study something in the part of humanities which was of culture, society and everything together which I'm anyway studying right now that is a topic for the next video but yeah that is the reality that it was a completely different thing so they provided me with pre-masters and right now I'm studying for the pre-masters in tourism, culture and society Let's move ahead towards the next question. When you go towards any university's website, they clearly have mentioned all the details. So it's about doing some work, some research work. So go out there, search for it. I took days and days, like literally even months to literally check out every university's website and come to a conclusion. So it's upon you because everybody's choices are different, right? So you have to take up the charge for your future uh, wishes that you want to fulfill. And I hope right now after hearing this thing, you actually take up the charge and do the stuff of researching. But to just give answer on a brief manner that uh, in Netherlands specifically I'm not sure about other universities but yes in Erasmus University that was a thing where I was supposed to pay the institutional fee and the statutory fee. Now there are two types of things out of which one is the thing that you pay you don't get the refund of it other part is the one that you pay and once you arrive over here they refund you the amount that they had collected before when you were in your own country. So while I was in India I had paid certain amount which was around 10 lakhs which I paid and then now I, that I came over here and I got one bank account of myself and then for myself and then uh, they refunded me all the amount basically and then I had to pay the uh, the basic statutory fees that was around five six six seven euros so that was also one of the reason because in Netherlands the quality of education is great of course and even the uh, tuition fees are bit less than what it is there in other countries out there so that was also one of the reason why i chose this country moving to the next question it might be uh, different for you it might be different for me but not for everyone it's a different country because ultimately it's just a place <laughs> it's not necessary specifically this question comes uh, to me uh, from fellow Indians uh, who usually have this thing we all have that thing that we choose for somewhere in UK, USA, Canada, Australia right but we never think about something apart from that so if I chose this country, it was because of the course that I was getting. It was a great course that I was getting. And again, uh, this is a place where Indians actually should come more. There are many Indians, but still, I want that there uh, should be more Indian population over here. Okay, now let me tell you one thing, okay? There are so many Chinese people over here. Of course, they are everywhere, but we should also have those things, no? We should also have our own street just like that is there in USA. So I really want that that happens over here too, where we have our own culture street. 
Hopefully one day it will happen. Come here soon. Make sure that you are subscribing to my channel and if you liked this video make sure that you are sharing it to somebody who might be looking for some motivation or maybe who is into complete confusion of whether to choose going abroad or not because let me tell you once you do that thing to a correct friend it really makes a huge impact on someone's life and this is the sole purpose right now for me to make this video so i hope i have been able to answer your questions most of the things that were the basics now a lot of things are upcoming in the next weeks so make sure that you are also putting the notification bell on as well as if you have any questions feel free to either put it in the comment box below or else feel free to jump into my instagram account i also make some good reels and you will definitely enjoy it because many people are enjoying it anyway so i'm sure you will have fun over there too so let's get connected over instagram with the same id capturing news i'll put the link of that down below oh yeah so i was about to tell that i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time see you bye